OpenAI has quickly become a top AI company, with its models used by tech giants like Apple and Microsoft, and millions subscribing to its ChatGPT platform. But for CEO Sam Altman, this is just the start of something much bigger. Just recently, on 11th Otter July 2024, OpenAI shared its new AI classification system with all its employees, a five-level roadmap guiding their journey toward creating AI that could one day surpass human intelligence. Why is AGI the goal? The, the two things that I think will matter most over the next decade or few decades um, to improving the human condition the most, giving us sort of just more of what we want are uh, abundant and inexpensive intelligence. Um, the more powerful, the more general, the smarter, the better. Uh, I think that is AGI and then, and then abundant and cheap energy. And if we can get these two things done in the world, then uh, it's almost like difficult to imagine how much else we could do. Uh, we're, we're big believers that you give people better tools and they do things that astonish you. And I think AGI will be uh, the best tool humanity has yet created. Uh, with it, we will be able to solve all sorts of problems. Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI, is a type of AI with a broad understanding of the world. It can think and reason independently, enabling it to take real-world actions without supervision, much like we humans do. Now, this level of intelligence is needed for things like fully driverless cars, robots that can work in different environments without help, and AI that can act as personal assistants or even colleagues. Major AI labs like Anthropic, OpenAI, and Google DeepMind are focused on creating AGI, and their current products are just steps toward that goal. While advanced models like GPT-40 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet might give the impression that we are nearing the achievement of artificial general intelligence, a recent Bloomberg report indicates that we still have a long way to go. According to this blog post, OpenAI has outlined five steps to achieve AGI, and we are currently only approaching the second step, the creation of reasoners. Let's first take a look at what these five levels are. Level 1, Chatbots. According to this Bloomberg report, the first level is called Chatbots, or basically AI that can talk like humans. This milestone was first hit with GPT 3.5, in the early version of ChatGPT, though earlier versions were around, just not as smooth or natural. Some might argue that this level was reached with the launch of Siri, but if you look closely, using Siri or Alexa is very different from talking to ChatGPT or Gemini. What's my day look like? Another busy day today. Are you serious? Yes, I'm not allowed to be frivolous. Uh, okay. Move my four o'clock today to tomorrow? Change my 11 a.m. to two? Okay, Marty. I scheduled it for today. Is that Rick? Where's Rick? Here's Rick. Oh, no, it's not Rick. Now, how's the traffic headed downtown? Here's the traffic. Oh, it's terrible. Terrible. Driver. Driver. Cut across. Cut across. We'll never make it downtown this way. I like you, Siri. You're going places. ChatGPT and Gemini, which are more advanced conversational AIs, feel more natural to interact with. Hey, ChatGPT. I'm Mark. How are you? Oh, Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Hey, so I'm on stage right now. I'm doing a live demo. And frankly, I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Can you help me calm my nerves a little bit? Oh, you're doing a live demo right now? That's awesome. <laughs> Just take a deep breath. And remember, you're the expert here. I like that suggestion. Let me try a couple deep breaths. Can you give me feedback on my breaths? OK, here I go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, slow down. Go a bit there. Mark, you're not a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> breathe in for a count of four. OK, uh, let me try again. So I'm going to breathe in deeply. And then, and then out. for four, and then exhale slowly. OK, I'll try again. Breathing in and breathe out. 
Advanced models like GPT-4, Gemini Pro 1.5, or Claude Sonnet 3.5 excel at this level. They can handle complex conversations, remember context, and perform some reasoning. Level 2. Reasoners Level 2. AIs are known as reasoners. At the moment, some advanced models can solve specific problems really well, but they still require detailed instructions and data to do so. However, according to OpenAI, these Level 2 AIs will be able to solve problems across different areas, much like humans, without being limited to just one or two tasks. Just as GPT-3.5 marked the beginning of Level 1, Level 2 could start this year with the introduction of mid-tier models. Additionally, Anthropic is set to launch Claude Opus 3.5, an upgrade from Claude 3.f Sonnet, and we are also anticipating Google's release of Gemini Ultra 1.5, the most advanced version of the Gemini series. Before moving forward, please subscribe to our channel if you want to stay updated on all AI news and updates. This is the best way to stay ahead of the curve. Level 3. Agents Level 3 is when AI models start to create content or perform tasks on their own, or at least under general human guidance. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, has hinted that GPT-5 could be an AI system that works more like an agent. These AI agents can handle complex tasks, adapt to changing situations, and act as extensions of human intent. They build on the reasoning abilities from Level 2, enabling them to make smart decisions and manage multi-step processes. This level focuses on sustained effort and alignment with user goals, leading to more advanced and independent AI applications. Level 4. Innovators Level 4 AIs are going to be more innovative and can actually help invent new things. Yes, you heard that right. Instead of just using what we already know, they can add to it. For example, if you ask a Level 4 AI to create a new language, it could come up with something completely original instead of just tweaking existing ones, like Esperanto. This level is all about combining human creativity with machine efficiency, letting AI really contribute to creative processes and scientific breakthroughs. OpenAI is teaming up with the Los Alamos National Laboratory to develop AI for bioscience research. Right now, they're focused on making sure AI is safe to use in labs, but this partnership is also about preparing for the day when AI can start inventing its own stuff. Level 5. Organizations The final stage, where we reach AGI or Artificial General Intelligence, is when an AI can run an entire organization by itself, without any human help. To do this, the AI needs all the skills from the previous stages and broad intelligence. It must understand how all the different parts of an organization work together. According to Sam Altman, we might achieve AGI this decade. If he's right, we might be dealing with AI leaders instead of voting for an elderly person in 2028 or 2029. Some experts believe it might take up to 50 years. OpenAI currently considers itself at Level 1 and approaching Level 2, which represents AI systems that can solve problems at a doctorate level of education. OpenAI's CTO, Mira Murati, has mentioned that the upcoming model, likely named GPT-5, is expected to possess the intelligence of a PhD holder across various subjects. These systems are already human level in specific tasks. Of course, in a lot of tasks, they're not. If you look at the trajectory of improvement, um, systems like GPT-3 were maybe, you know, toddler level intelligence. And then systems like GPT-4 are more like smart high schooler intelligence. Um, and then in the next couple of years, we're looking at PhD level intelligence for specific tasks. Um, like, so things are changing and improving pretty rapidly. Meaning like a year from now? Yeah. 
A year and a half, let's say, yeah. If ChatGPT5 achieves level two, the next step after creating reasoners will be developing agents. While OpenAI has not yet revealed when we will achieve these agents, they predict that we'll progress through each of these levels over time. Notably, the gap between GPT 3.5 and Chat GPT 5 is significant, so it might take some time. But Chat GPT 5 isn't the only project OpenAI is working on. There is also another initiative that could be key to reaching level 2. Well, shortly after releasing this classification system, Reuters reported on an internal OpenAI document seen in May detailing the development of a new reasoning technology, currently referred to by the codename Strawberry. OpenAI may have a juicy secret. Reuters sources say a project codenamed Strawberry is in the works. Details are top secret, even within the firm but it's thought to promise advanced reasoning abilities far beyond current models. So, what is Project Strawberry? Project Strawberry now launched as O1 Models is OpenAI's latest and potentially most advanced large language model. We're starting a series of new models uh, with the new name O1, and this is to highlight the fact that you might feel different uh, when you use uh, O1 as a, compared to previous models uh, such as GPT-4.0. So as others will explain later, O1 is a reasoning model. So it will think more before answering your question. We are releasing two models, O1 Preview, which is to preview what's coming for O1, <laughs> and O1 Mini, which is a faster, slow, smaller and faster model that is trained with a similar framework as O1. So we hope you like our new naming scheme, O1. <laughs> Initially known as QSTAR, it has been rebranded as O1. This project aims to significantly surpass the capabilities of current state-of-the-art systems by incorporating human-like reasoning skills. O1 is designed to be a reasoning powerhouse. It can solve complex math problems and understand research papers, unlike most other AI language models. So one of my favorite puzzles that I would do when I was a little kid is called a nonogram, where you're given an empty grid and then some numerical clues that tell you which squares in the grid you have to fill in. And I thought we could have the model play a little game where it first generates a puzzle to solve, and then we ask another instance of the model to try to solve the problem that it generated. So yeah, I'll ask it, generate, say, a 5 by 5 nonogram, where the final answer is the letter M. We'll see what it comes up with. All right, we see it just gave us a little puzzle. We'll go ahead and copy this, open up another window of O1, ask it solve the following puzzle. and let's say, visualize the answer in some pretty way, why not? This puzzle doesn't look like it's, it's too hard, but the, the way that an onogram works is for each row and each column, you're given a list of numbers, and the numbers tell you how many squares are filled in. And if the squares are consecutive, then you'll see like a two for two consecutive squares. If there's a space between them, you'll see a one comma one. And so you're supposed to just try to figure out which squares do I indeed have to fill in. And it looks like the model got this right. This capability is important because a lot of serious hacking relies on advanced math. And if an AI can crack these codes, it could lead to big problems that we might not even be aware of yet. Essentially, O1 is capable of planning ahead and performing tasks that require a high degree of autonomy and intelligence. Mr. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, has been vocal about the potential of Project O1. He envisions it as a crucial step towards achieving artificial general intelligence. So, if not this year, 2025 might be packed with new launches like ChatGPT5. Well, we're planning to make a detailed video on ChatGPT5, so if you're interested, make sure to subscribe to our channel.
when it comes to predicting the arrival of Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. The exact timeline is still up in the air. However, several prominent figures in the tech world have shared their thoughts on the matter. For instance, a 2022 survey revealed that 50% of AI experts believe we might see high-level machine intelligence by 2059. Shane Legg, co-founder of DeepMind, is a bit more optimistic, suggesting there's a 50% chance AGI could be achieved by 2028. Elon Musk, never one to shy away from bold predictions, thinks AGI could be here by 2029. Meanwhile, Sam Altman of OpenAI has mentioned that he expects AGI to exist in the reasonably close-ish future. When do you think we, you and we as humanity, will build AGI? Is I expect that by the end of this decade, and possibly somewhat sooner than that, we will have quite capable systems that we look at and say, wow, that's really remarkable. In another interview with Lex Fridman, Sam said something like this. When you build or somebody builds an artificial general intelligence, would that be fast or slow? Would we know what's happening or not? Would we go about our day on the weekend or not? So I'll come back to the would we go about our day or not thing. I think there's like a bunch of interesting lessons from COVID and the UFO videos and a whole bunch of other stuff yeah. that we can talk to there. Yeah. But on the takeoff question, if we imagine a two by two matrix of short timelines till AGI starts, long timelines till AGI starts, slow takeoff, fast takeoff. Do you have an instinct on what do you think the safest quadrant would be? So uh, the different options are like Sl next year. Yeah, so the takeoff, the, we start the takeoff period. Yep. Next year or in 20 years. 20 years. And, and then it takes one year or 10 years. Well, you can even say one year or five years, whatever you want for the takeoff. I feel like now is uh, is safer. So do I. So I'm in the longer now. I'm in the slow takeoff short timelines is the most likely good world. And we optimize the company to have maximum impact in that world, to try to push for that kind of a world. And the decisions that we make are, you know, there's like probability masses, but weighted towards that. And I think I'm very afraid of the fast takeoffs. I think in the longer timelines, it's harder to have a slow takeoff. There's a bunch of other problems too, um, but that's what we're trying to do. And it doesn't stop there. Some experts are predicting that AGI could arrive as early as 2025, which is just around the corner. This suggests that the breakthroughs needed to achieve AGI might be closer than we think. The journey to AGI is filled with both excitement and uncertainty. Significant challenges remain, such as advancing algorithms, increasing computing power, and addressing ethical concerns. Let's talk about the big changes AGI might bring, where people have different views. Some think AGI will hugely change our lives, helping with everything from healthcare to taking care of the environment and solving big world problems. As AGI gets better, it could take over many jobs, from simple tasks to complex ones that need a lot of education. This could mean a lot of people might lose their jobs, but it might also create new jobs in making and managing AGI systems. A survey by Robert Half shows that in marketing and creative fields, 34% of people think AI will help their careers, but 21% are worried it might make their skills less needed. From what I've researched, people who have the right skills and money to use AGI could do really well, while others might not benefit as much. Watch this video to find out more on AGI.